This is the idea, right? You know, they can be at a brilliant band, but if they don't interact with the industry in the right way, they're really wasting their opportunity. Behind the wall is real skills, real job, and we're trying to show people how to get those jobs. You get a lot of people that think the creative industries is not a real job. It is. You know, bands can get paid, I get paid. Sound people get paid, stage managers get paid. It's just not a traditional job. So why behind the wall? Because it is behind the wall. You're getting to see what goes on behind the wall of the lights and sound on stage. You know, you can go to a rehearsal studio or recording room and you can pay money there and you can do all that stuff separately, but until you come to behind the walls courses, you will not get that insight into what the industry actually is like. bands and emerging artists and people that want to be in the music industry and take them from amateur to pro in under two weeks. I guess being professional means getting paid for what you're doing. <laughs> like, isn't that the definition of it? To be a professional? Well, I suppose technically it's getting paid, but to be a professional to me is probably more about your attitude towards music, because you get people that kind of have an entry level like, oh, I'll just whip some chords together and shred a bit. Um, and make music, and that's all well and good, but you've got to kind of think about the bigger picture and think about the actual effort you've got to put into your music. So what I'm offering them is a work experience program. You know, a direct, um, from the brain knowledge to their brains of how things work and what to expect and how to interact with people so that they become the person that we want to deal with. Really, the main tool I've given them is the, the mind mastery. Um, and that is that every single one of these people should not limit themselves to believing that they are good enough to actually make it. So about 8 o'clock in the morning we've started every day and we've done a little bit of yoga. So we've done a bit of yin yoga, a bit of hatha yoga, done a little bit of Alexander technique, we've done a little bit of uh, breathing exercises, we've done um, some chakra, seventh chakra walking meditation, gone for a swim in the ocean, um, we've gone for surfs. We've just done something to start the day that really helps us set the intention for the day. We've fully catered this band camp project because to not worry about food is to not worry about life and then you get more time for the creativity that has evolved and we've definitely seen the creativity evolve. Then after breakfast, we have done a music industry lecture. So we've had some subject matter experts come in, some musicians, some copyright experts, myself as a lighting designer, um, Jesse, the audio engineer. And in every course, there will be these subject matter experts. They'll change from time to time, but they're essentially the people that have had about 10 years or more experience in the industry. And what they offer is a specific set of knowledge and tools to make, them, to make these bands or people that want to work in the industry understand how big the industry and what their interactions with the industry um, do. We had our lectures, um, then we kind of tasked them off with you know, building a rider or you know, working out their branding, working out a logo, really getting the, the nuts and bolts of their business as a band together, you know, figuring out a plan for the future basically. Uh, and probably the strongest thing that came out of that process was building a band agreement. So um, when you've got five or six members like Raksha have, um, there's going to be some decisions that have to make, be made quite often. Then we had lunch and then we gave them the time, an hour of free time, but I really encouraged them to use it to promote themselves and to spread their word about the concert that we're going to have at the end of the 10 day course, which is kind of like the assessment of sorts to prove to themselves and the world that, you know, in 10 days they've actually got this uh, professional mindset. So I'm hoping that they'll go and interact with the, the industry and the nightclub that we're going to play the gig in. Um, and really you know, use the, the teachings that we've offered them to really make some industry contacts and you know, let them know what they want for sound wise and I'm going to be doing the lighting for them and you know, really get the most out of this show. Well the first thing that, I've, that has really come across to me is how small the, the network, the music network is. So like, and also the amount of effort they put into their, to their lighting and their sound and all that. You need to 
be very uh, appreciative of what they do. And it is about the music, but the show incorporates a lot of like, uh, well, you've got the lighting, you've got your sound guys, they're all working together to put on the best show possible. My whole life I've gone into gigs, you know, say good day to the sound guy at the start of the gig, um, you say goodbye to him at the end, that kind of thing. But I've never like had a conversation or like built up like a relationship with a sound guy before. At 3 p.m., 3 to 6, we gave him rehearsal. So we did a little bit of recording with that, but um, mainly it was for them to work out the material, work out the right set list and get, get things tight. Um, and having a, a sound engineer or a monitor engineer at their side to really coach them through what, what is right and wrong and what they do and don't need to do and certain techniques they can do to avoid and keep that stage sound low so the front of house sound can really be nice and clean. In the evening after dinner, we did roadie school. So roadie school is another course that can be taken separately, but essentially that is a brief but quite extensive overview of a lot of the equipment that you're going to come across in a, in a stage setup or in a live event setup and then um, the practical application of those things. So it's actually setting up a small PA, understanding signal flow, understanding DMX and lighting protocol, understanding how to rig a light, how to be safe, how to really dress the stage and finish it off to then maybe go out and get some jobs in the industry and continue to network. So yeah, day by day for 10 days, we had a combination of all those elements and we've really built on building this band to you know, what I believe is now a semi-pro and if not a professionally thinking band that has some clear targets for the future and really hasn't set any limits for themselves as to where they can go for their entire career. I've opened my mind to an entire new idea of professionalism and it made me realise how far from that we are and I think we have taken a big step towards that. That is the dream to be a musician. Before this camp I thought it was unrealistic. Now I know, now I know there is a bit of a chance. Got a lot better chance now. Like the proper sound and the full lighting rig, and just all of the effort that's gone into it, not just from us but for everyone else, is going to make this a really, really special gig for us. I just think it's just been amazing to really, really work hard and to be told these are the things you should be doing. And like, look at, look, we've all got face paint right now. Like, we're really working on our image and just really working on becoming tight and like. Just the way that we, we interact with each other and the audience and you and just, yeah, I, I'm just pumped. I feel like we, I, we've learned so much stuff because it's been really good to be put in a situation where you, you know, like, you've got to do it. Like, you've got to learn. You've got to, like, you've, you've got to really pump it. And it's really great. Yeah. Uh, yeah, really excited to show everyone what we've learned and how much more professional we are as a band. <laughs> this gig feels completely different to any other gig we've ever done before. Um, Jared has been like showing us how to prep properly for this gig for the past week and a half. We've been doing stuff that we've never done before. Um, yeah. Say like there's, say like we do another headline show six months ago at a similar kind of venue. We'd prep for maybe a day before, you know, we get set list done before uh, the gig, that's about it. But you know, we've put in a lot of effort in the lighting, um, we've got some tricks up our sleeve. I mean, I'm wearing face paint. This wasn't really planned, but you know, this, this thing kind of happened, which is, which is really uh, adding another element of surprise to this gig as well. But just working on our image, everything else, this, this night is definitely going to feel a lot better than most other gigs. Oh, we've learned so much stuff over the, you know, those 10 days and all those rehearsals really brought us together, made us tighter. I think it's going to be great. Boot camp, I reckon it's changed our performance a lot. Like, it's the same set, but we're just tighter. We are more on the point with lighting and, like, knowing where we're going to be on set. Just changes are quicker between songs and, like, we're just way more pro.
this time I want to play a huge festival. You know, we've gained so much knowledge from the whole course. You know, we've gained knowledge in different areas. It's just all the stuff that will help you as a musician, you know, get yourself out there rather than just play and play and play. You know, it's, it's like the whole other side. And I guess that's kind of where the name behind the wall comes from. You know, it's all behind the scenes, behind the wall of, of being a musician, you know, all the networking, everything that you need to know. And I think it's great knowledge for all, all musicians to know you know, if they want to pursue that as a career. Um, just the fact that we kind of aware how professional we need to be, I guess we took the gig a lot more seriously, um, and evidently it paid off um, with the killer crowd and stuff. Um, and we were a lot tighter in our like set, um, and we were a lot more organised in how we're talking, and this is only the beginning of where we're going to go. Like, we've still got room to improvement, and now we're just, uh, room for improvement, now we're just aware of what needs improving. Um, and having Jared as a guide um, for that and a guide for our future is amazing. Uh, I'd recommend it to every band that isn't already at a level where they're like getting heaps of money and stuff. Um, I'd recommend it because it makes you realise how, A, how possible it is for bands to do well and like get to that next level um, and B, how fun it is as well. It improves you in ways that you hadn't even considered. Like, you may, as a local band in Perth, for example, be comfortable with like the space you're at in terms of like your professionality and your ability to play gigs. But well, after you do a course like behind the wall, you just yeah, you become aware of so many different things that you hadn't even considered before, and you realise that you really weren't all you thought you were beforehand. And it's absolutely a good thing because you just come out of it a completely changed outfit, a better band, and it, yeah, it's just, it's not something you can really conceive of before you do it, so. Like, there's definitely something that's changed with us in the past 10 days, you know. Um, I've I had some friends here, they've been to eight or nine of my gigs in the past 12 months, and they said this one tops them all. Thank you, Jared. This has been incredible, man. Life-changing for me, and I'm sure for the rest of the guys as well. But I thought we were up here. Turns out we were, we were somewhere down here. There was so much stuff that we were missing with our live shows and the whole communication with, uh, you know, sound guys. That's probably the most beneficial thing I've gotten out of this. But as well as that mental stimulation, being able to plan for the future and that kind of thing as well. But Starting out on that first day, right down there, and after this 10 days, I'm, we're, not, we're not way up the top yet, but we know how to get there. I will never stop dreaming the dream that is higher than the dream I dreamt yesterday. And that's what Behind the Wall is about. It's, it is not just about music industry skills, it's about evolving people into believing in themselves to actually create their own destiny by using people like me and my network to help them get where they want to get. Behind the Wall is a license to never stop learning.